Welcome to Location, a Lokewater News Web Edition delivering you top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Kelsey Castrava. And I'm Justin Silner, and here's your news now. Cabrini's freshman class is about 150 less than last year. Many courses have been canceled due to under-enrollment. Also, some professors were out of a job due to the canceled classes. The reason for the vast decrease is, of course, because of the state of our economy. Family budgets are strained due to the recession. Cabrini has also upped the ante on its acceptance process by being more selective in hopes of having more students complete their studies at Cabrini. Upperclassmen reminiscing about their old homes on campus may be a bit confused this year. There may be a surprise to find the recent changes to Cabrini's on-campus housing. Starting this year, the former all-girls dorm, Woodcrest, is now co-ed. The only female dorm is Royman's. Most rooms are now housing only two students instead of the previous three. Now let's see what's going on with the dirt sheet. What's up, all you stars and studs? I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino. And welcome to The Dirt Sheet, where we give you the latest in entertainment. Tyra Banks and longtime boyfriend John Udendahl were seen eating lunch together, and Tyra almost ate a giant ring on her finger. Could the America's Next Top Model host slash panelist slash model slash actress be engaged? I hope so, because she'd be one crazy bridezilla. Lady Gaga is working on some new tunes, and no, it is not hiding her man voice. Despite the rumors of being a hermaphrodite, Michael Bolton has collaborated with the singer to produce some new music, and I just can't wait to hear it. Was that for real? Uh, no. DJ AM was found dead in his NYC apartment on August 28th. Drugs were believed to have been involved in the tragic death. AM had recently survived a deadly plane crash last September. Final Destination 3D was number one at the box office this weekend. I opted to see Julie and Julia instead. That was just sufficiently awkward. Don't forget to check out The Dance in the Dixon Center this Thursday at 10 p.m. Brought to you by The Dance Team. Doesn't the administration have no idea about this dance? That's right, Gianna. <laughs> and that's all we've got for you this week on The Dirt Sheet. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Veterano. The Glamazon. Now back to you, Kelsey. H1N1 flu virus, or more commonly known as swine flu, has penetrated Cabrini's campus. The influenza-like illness claimed lives of 79 people in the United States in 2009. But should Cabrini be worried? H1N1 virus has struck Cabrini's campus. How is it affecting the student body? Yeah, I'm concerned. I live in a residence hall, so I'm taking all extra precautions when I use the bathroom and everything. I'm a commuter, so but I know that uh, people like our age, that I think through 20 through 30s, are more susceptible to it, the disease. It seems as though almost everyone is taking precautions to stay healthy. As an RA, I'm concerned about swine flu only because um, I live in a residence hall of all freshmen and they can be a little dirty at sometimes and not wash their hands. However, not everyone was surprised to see swine flu. We expected to see um, the H1N1 virus return to college campuses early this fall. Symptoms, which have to include a fever of greater than 100 degrees, a sore throat, or cough. Wellness packets are available in the nurse's office, but staying healthy is easier than that. The most important thing that you can do is to wash your hands. This is Jake Veterano on location. This past May, an incoming freshman was featured on The Oprah Winfrey Show as one of the first recipients of the I Am Scholarship, sponsored by Grammy Award-winning artist Will I Am. The scholarship will cover his tuition, books, room, and board for the next four years. Jaquan Beckham, now a freshman majoring in education, has now completed his first weeks here at Cabrini. Let's check in with him to see how his time at Cabrini is going. I didn't think something like that could ever happen to me. And uh, I wanted to major in education, and they were telling me like that everyone here majors in education. The education program is real good and it's close to home, so I was thinking like, hey, I'll definitely go to Cabrini because uh, it's kind of a perfect fit. Truthfully, I really like Cabrini for the simple fact that um, the classes are so small and I haven't met one person here that I haven't liked. Every, like, when I'm walking down the street, even if you don't know somebody, everyone's like, hey, hi, everyone's always in a good mood. Everyone speaks to me, everyone speaks to everybody. I just like how everybody's just cool. It's not like high school how you have enemies and stuff. It seems like there's no enemies here. Everyone gets along and that's what I actually really like about the school. Hey 
everyone. Hope you guys had an awesome weekend. I know the weather was nasty, but it looks like this weekend is going to be a lot nicer than last. Today, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 78 degrees. Temperatures rise into the low 80s on Friday and Saturday, with both days full of lots of sunshine. Sunday, the temperature will drop a tad back down into the 70s, but you're looking at a gorgeous end to your weekend with sunny skies all around. That's all I have for you today. Back to you, Kelsey. And now it's time to take a trip around the world. Attorney General Eric H. Holder Jr. has plans to redefine the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division. The reshaping of the department comes just seven months after Holder took office. It will focus on areas of American political life, such as voting rights, housing, and employment. A new film created by the Gwent Police Department has brought emotional reactions to its viewers. The short four-minute Welsh film shows the gory and deadly consequences of texting while driving. It has been viewed more than four million times on popular video sites, such as YouTube. Government scientists have found a nitrous oxide to be a new culprit of ozone depletion. It emerges naturally, but can also be emitted through human activity, such as the burning of biofuels. Now let's check in with Nick for our sports update. Nick Goulden here for your sports update. The Eagles and Jaguars put together an exciting game for the crowd in Lincoln Financial Field on August 27th. The Eagles played a great offensive game, which was capped off with a last-second field goal by David Akers. Michael Vick made his first start since being reinstated back into the NFL. He went 4-for-4 four four with 19 passing yards. After losing 2-3 of three against the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Phillies came home for an important division rival series with the Atlanta Braves. Although Cliff Lee gave up six runs in a losing effort on Saturday, the Phillies won the other two games, despite a few rain delays here and there. The series opener on Friday the 28th was also the fourth annual Cabrini College Night at the Phillies. Through nearly two hours of rain delays, the college students, staff, and community members stuck around at Citizens Bank Park and were rewarded with one very exciting game. Let's check in with Ariel for more on this story. Last Friday, Cabrini College celebrated the fourth year of Cabrini Night at the Phillies, with about 1,900 tickets sold to Cabrini students, faculty, alumni, and administrators. It was a cold and rainy night for the loyal students who sat in the rain for almost four hours and with two rain delays. But I'm really glad I have this poncho. It kind of stinks because the first thing that happened was one of the Phillies hit a home run. So it was so good, but now it's pouring, so I think they're going to cancel it. The Cabrini College dance team partied with the Fanatic after the seventh inning, and students enjoyed the night by showing off their moves for the camera. The Phillies won 4-2 against the Atlanta Braves. I'm Ariel Frischa on location at Citizens Bank Park. Now back to the studio. Thanks for watching this week's Web Edition. Be sure to tune in next week for another great episode. I'm Justin Solner. And I'm Kelsey Castrava. Thanks for watching. This week's episode of Location was brought to you by... Hi, my name is Danielle Alio, and I am president of the Cabrini College Commuter Crew. Come out on September 16th from 11 to 2 to celebrate Commuter Appreciation Day. This year's theme is Fall Fiesta. Come out and enjoy some Mexican-themed food as well as free giveaways and prizes.